What is this? Where am I? Ah, shit. Bucky was right. I owe him $5. You know Bucky? So you think I was so lucky I didn't meet Bucky? You're saying we're the same person? Yeah. Time travel shit? Different universes happens kind of a lot. What's your story? Uh, well, I'm a veteran. Wait, really? Yes, are you not? I was a social worker. Oh, okay, I did that too, but after I got out of the war, my wingman Riley died and I felt really bad about it, so I wanted to help other veterans get better. Interesting little parallel there, because I started as a social worker because both my parents died and I wanted to help other inner city kids feel better. What do you mean inner city? Our parents ran a fishing business in Louisiana. Um, my parents are from Harlem and they died from gang violence and a mugging gone wrong, respectively. You're from Louisiana? Yes, you're from Harlem? I'm the protector of Harlem. Interesting. I went by the Falcon. No, I was I was also the Falcon. Steve came to you when he needed help? Uh, kind of? Not really. I was lured to the Caribbean by the Red Skull. The Red Skull died in 1945. Really? In your- That would have been way easier. No, he's like still alive right now and fucking around with the Cosmic Cube. You mean the Tesseract? I'm talking about the Cosmic Cube. How do you- Do you not even have Red Wing? I have or had Red Wing. Someone broke it. Broke it? Weird way to say killed. I mean, I loved the thing a lot, but it was still just a robot, man. Your Red Wing's a robot? Yes? What was yours? An actual bird? Yes! That is ridiculous. You just had an actual falcon flying around? We were telepathically linked. How were you telepathically linked with- WITH THE POWER OF THE COSMIC CUBE! So are you a general telepath, or is it just for the one- It's called avian telepathy. It's with all birds. Yeah, cause that's more normal. How do you fly? You have real wings too? No, okay, I used to have like a jet suit and then T'Challa made me some fancy new ones. Oh, okay, well actually the exact same thing happened with me. Oh, nice, T'Challa gave you those like holographic hard and light ones that change shape based on a chip in your mind? Uh, no, they were like my old wings, but painted red, white, and blue. Oh, that's cool. Too. So you took over as Captain America in your world as well. Yeah, I've teamed up with Bucky after he went back in time to be with Peggy. Interesting. I took the mantle a few times as well. A few times? Yeah, well basically anytime he gave up the mantle or died or something. Was your world a little bit more, um, accepting to you being captain or- Ha! Let's put it this way. The Red Skull once tampered with my brain and gaslit me into thinking I had a secret past life as a gang boss in Harlem in an attempt to use racism to discredit me in the eyes of America, and it turned out to be pretty damn redundant. How was he able to do any of that? With the fuck? Cosmic Cube. Yeah, I get it. Sorry, but basic same principle happened to me. I even gave up the shield and they gave it to this asshole John Walker. Oh, the US agent. I fought him. I fought a lot of random fake caps in my day, but hey, if Bucky was your a sidekick? What happened to Torres? I know Torres. He's a good friend of mine. He was your sidekick? Yeah, well, he became the new Falcon. Actually, he has a better claim to the name than I did because he is, you know, half Falcon or I guess a quarter Falcon, quarter vampire. <sighs> this is gonna be annoying, isn't it? I guess I'll do the honors. Who are you? Bucky Barnes, aka Winter Soldier. Yeah, that's also me. Did you serve in World War II? Yep, you were Captain America's sidekick. Seems a bit reductive, but sure, you fell to your death. Oh yeah, also exploded a little bit. You were found by the Soviet, forced into a life of amnesia and assassination. You kill Kennedy? Yep, Stark's parents? Not me, actually. I did kill Logan's wife though. Who? Logan, you know, we served with him, him, the Submariner, the Human Torch. I don't know any of those people. Really? What team were you on? The Howling Commandos? Oh, Fury's team. Weird. Yeah, anyways, Cap found you eventually, right? That's right, gave me back my memories with the Cosmic Cube. Cosmic? You mean the Space Stone? No, I mean the Cosmic Cube. The one that Thanos used. Is the Space Gem. I'm talking about the Red Skull's classic weapon. That's the same thing. No, it's not. Whatever. How did you get your memories back? I don't know. They just sort of did when I escaped for long enough. Well, that's convenient. Did you still meet Natasha? Yeah, briefly. Briefly? You guys didn't date? No. You didn't train her in the Red Room? You mean when she was a kid? Yeah, that's where you fell in love. When she was a kid? Oh, we were kids too. Wouldn't you have been like 40? I think technically like 30, but it doesn't really matter. I was a teenager when I went in the ice and after that aging didn't really happen. How were you a teenager when you went in the ice? Uh, cause I was a teenager in the war? You were what? I was a teenage assassin tasked with doing the dirty deeds that we couldn't have Captain America associated with. Who were you? I was just his buddy. I'm actually a few years older than him. Weird. So you like voluntarily chose to be his sidekick? Again, a little reductive. We were friends and maybe more. And who was he to you? Like a father? I guess. Yeah, the closest I ever had. Oh. Wait, so did you never take over as Captain America? No, Sam did. No, but like before that, immediately after he died. Steve's not dead. He's just 
old. Yeah, I always figure whatever bullshit that was. But anyways, when he was gone, did you take the shield and try and kill the Red Skull and Tony Stark? No. Why were you trying to kill Tony? Because he was the head of shield. He was what? Yeah, this was during the whole Civil War bullshit. Who was the head of shield in your time? Hydra. Huh. You guys are bad at your job. Anyway, yeah, it's a long story, but basically I tried to kill Tony. Turns out he was actually tasked with naming the next Captain America and stopping me from going down my violent cycle, whatever that means, by Steve. So he just made me the next Cap. Yeah, I don't think my Tony would have ever made that call, but you did give it to Sam eventually, right? I learned that was very important. Oh, yeah, he's a much better one, and I'm way more suited to be the man on the wall. The, the man on the what? The man on the wall? It's like a secret first line of defense against alien invasions. It's the position Nick Fury used to hold until he realized that his magic blood was thinning and he was aging too fast and gonna die soon, so he murdered the Watcher, then held an elaborate ruse where whoever could solve the case would become his replacement. Anyway, I figured him out, became the replacement, actually fell in love with an alien princess for a bit. Stop. That's it. We're done. This is... No. Bye. Interesting, I must be in a different- Okay, let's make this quick. I'm supposed to be dead. Before you say anything, you're in a different universe. I know that. I'm the Sorcerer Supreme. Good for you. Now you want to keep blabbing or you want to tell me what I need to know? Let me guess. You want me to just divulge my entire backstory so we can see what's different between us? Oh, okay. So it's not actually your first time. You're just acting stupid. Were you a surgeon? Yes, I was. And then an accident robbed you of the use of your hands? Yes. And that hack Dr. Nick fixed you up but failed to actually address the problem? Yes. Hate that guy. Yeah, me too. Especially when he came back and tried to become Sorcerer Supreme. Nick's a sorcerer? Everyone's a sorcerer. Keep up. Now what happened next? I heard rumors of magic. Sought out the Ancient One. Nice, nice. Did you remember him from when he saved your life when you were eight years old and that other wizard went back in time to try and kill you? Or, because if I'm being fully honest, it totally slipped my mind. Not only do I have no idea what you're talking about, but the Ancient One was a woman. I'm sorry, what? A Celtic woman. Weird, but I guess inconsequential. What did you do next? I had to fight off Dormammu from the Dark Dimension. Right, right, and then while you were there, you met Clea? Uh, who? Your wife, Clea, Dormammu's niece? I'm sorry, his fucking what? Niece, it means sister's daughter? How much of this do I have to spoon feed to you? Did you marry that thing's niece? I mean, we've had our ups and downs like any other couple. We're actually even separated right now, and we had to be long distance for a hot second because she was ruling her own dimension, but you know, why are you so shocked that I could find love? This isn't about finding love, okay? I've loved someone. It's not Clea? No, it was... Christine Palmer. The third night nerd? I don't even think I've met her. Well, she's great, okay? But my point is, is Clea also like her own universal entity? No, she's a woman and a damn good sorcerer. But Dormammu was like bigger than the earth and vaguely ethereal. He's a guy with a fiery head. What are you talking about? Well, clearly my world's a bit more dangerous. <clears throat> Ha! I'll have you know- How did you beat Dormammu? I made a bargain. Me too! He was so humiliated that he needed my help to rid his dimension of the mindless ones that he was willing to do whatever I asked, including leave Earth alone forever. That sounds nice. How'd you prove your might to him? I just, uh, kinda let him kill me over and over- What was that? Doesn't matter, you know I also fought Thanos. Yeah, so I did too. That's actually why I had to leave Clea to fight the Rebellion in her realm alone, because the Avengers couldn't do it without me. Well, they wouldn't have succeeded without me either, so- You also talked to Eternity and the Watcher? Those are people that I've heard of, yes? Eternity's not a person, he's the living embodiment of the entire universe. You're fucking lying. He's a friend of mine, you ass. You just said he wasn't a- I know what I said, it's a world of magic, it doesn't have to make sense, you freaking bushly- Enough of this, I am the Sorcerer Supreme of my world, I have saved it on numerous occasions. Are you a member of the Illuminati? Jesus, what? The Illuminati? Illuminati, are you a member? Because if so, point of advice, don't send the Hulk into space, he will come back, beat you up, and force you to fight all the other Avengers. Speaking of, you are immortal, right? You have the thing? Uh, no, my ancient one did, but- Yeah, I thought so. You got the vibe of someone who ages. We're the same age! I'm like 80-something. Okay, well, at least I don't use dark magic. Me neither. I got this from passing a test from literal death. Who is also a person? Yeah, she's like a hot skeleton. Wait, I thought you said you had that. I've done it. I've mastered my magic and broken through the universes. I stand in a new reality. I'm sorry, did somebody say something? Oh my god, there's another me. You. You're me. Yes, I am. It's all very exciting. You're not the me that had sex with our brother, are you? Um, what? Oh, good. Then we can talk. First multiversal trip? Yes. What? You've done it before. Oh yeah, I've seen lots of different universes. The real trick is building your own. And trust me, you need to be real broken for that to work. Oh, trust me, I have more than enough experience in altering reality. Recently, I was so lost in my own grief that I took over a town. I rewrote people's lives and memories and made them act as pawns in my own recovery. Just a town? I, did you hear what I said? Yeah, it's just, you know, when I was lost in grief, I rewrote the entirety of the planet and maybe the universe, but whatever, it's not a competition. What brings you over here? Okay, well, no need to be rude, and I'm looking for my family. Tell me, is Vision alive? Yeah, he's probably off in the suburbs with that bitch of a wife of his. 
Excuse me? Oh, had that not happened at your universe yet? Yeah, we split up and then he built a robot wife and based her brain off of me, which I guess is a compliment. No, my vision and I were in love. True, unconditional love. I mean, we're still in love. It's just complicated. Whatever, what about our kids? Where are Billy and Tommy? Oh, Krakoa. So they are real. That is a sensitive subject, but yeah, no, they're on Krakoa. And Krakoa, what is that? Oh, um, yeah, basically a bunch of mutants got together and made their own country, but don't worry, it's not like dads. I'm sorry, nothing you just said made sense? What does our dad have to do with mutants? Um, you mean besides being one of the main rulers of them? My father was not the ruler of anything. He died from a bomb when I was a child. Okay, sure. But then later, did a scary man with a magnetic personality adopt you and convince you you were a mutant? What is a mutant? Uh, oh, um, you, you don't have mutants in your world? I mean, I don't think you're supposed to call them that. So you're not a mutant. Uh, no? Are you? No. Then why are you asking me? Just curious, um, you never believed you were a mutant? I'm still not clear on what mutants are. They're mute. Homo Superior, the X-Men, Krakoa, our children, mutant. My children are not mutants. See, you're saying things that could be correct, but I can't tell if you know why you're saying that. Just tell me what a mutant is. People born with superpowers. But then I guess maybe technically, but they got those from me, and I got mine from experiments. Experiment. So it's true, you really don't have any mutants in your world. If you're asking me if a certain population of the planet is randomly born with superpowers, no, I don't think we have that. Okay, right, but is that your doing, or was it always like that? I, I don't remember doing anything. Alright, so you, maybe you did. That's fine. We'll roll with that. It makes more sense anyways. So, if Dad didn't adopt you, then what was your life like? How'd you grow up? Oh, when I was a child, my brother and I joined Hydra. What the hell's going on? Am I alive? That depends. Who the hell are you? My name is Pietro Maximoff, but I'm- Wait! You must be the guy from the other universe! Okay, interesting. Why would you not be alive? I, I was shot. Excuse me? I took a bullet for Hawkeye while we were fighting Ultron. You can't outrun a bullet? I mean, I'm sure I could, but this was much more dramatic, you know? I really stuck it to him. Oh, it was spite! Thank God! Yes, I do possess super speed, don't worry. Okay, good, that makes way more sense, because I was like, the one time I couldn't outrun a bullet, I literally tried to ant myself. Yeah, no, we're on the same page. Guess we gotta give thanks to the High Evolutionary, right? Who is that? The High Evolutionary, he's the, like the king of the furries, makes animals anthropomorphic, gave us superpowers by experimenting on us. I was experimented on, but it was by Hydra. Hydra? Those bastards kidnapped you? Kidnapped? No, I volunteered. What? Yes, well my parents had just died and my sister and I wanted to change the world. So you decided it's better to join up with the team that's trying to eliminate your people from the face of it? My people? You're Romani and Jewish, they're Yahtzees. I'm not, uh, either of those things. What? But anyways, yes, my sister and I eventually recognized the error of our ways, but we didn't know any better at the time. Buddy, I lived in a country that was literally taken over by Hydra, and I organized an underground resistance! Well, that sounds like more work. Did you ever do anything that didn't suck? I briefly joined the Avengers. Right, with Hawkeye, okay, so you were Cap's kooky quartet. I'm sorry, what was that? Cap's kooky quartet, that's what they called you. It most certainly was not. Whatever, okay, how long were you with them? Not that long, I used to be a villain before. Oh, that's okay, I was too. But you just- I was on the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, not freaking Hydra. How was that better? It had evil in the name. I don't know, Magneto tricked me, okay? Who is Magneto? The guy who pretended to be your father, leader of a bunch of the mutants? You don't have him? I don't think we have mutants. Well, that would have been more convenient. Shit. Anyways, as I was saying, I didn't get to join the Avengers long because I was a villain first and then I died after one mission with them, with Ultron. Really? You never joined the other teams? West Coast, Unity Division? No, the one thing and then dying out of spite. That's all I did. Huh, so you never met your wife? M my who? Crystal, your wife. The Inhuman? Seems like a rude thing to call your wife. Wait, is that another synonym for mutant? No, they're different. That's too complicated for right now. But yeah, she's the one who stopped me from being able to ant myself. Yes, yeah, so I was curious about that. How did you go about losing your powers? Oh, I convinced my sister to completely override reality with a new vision of it. And then when she got in trouble, she got mad and kind of wiped out a bunch of people's mutant powers. So you yourself are a mutant? No. Then how? Doesn't matter. Point is, went to the Inhumans, got some form of my powers back through this thing called the Terrigen Mist, I actually gained the ability to time travel. That's very handy. You can save your parents. Right, right. Or I could lie and manipulate my daughter into helping me pull off a time heist where I steal a bunch of Terrigen Crystals from the future and then come back and give a bunch of mutants back their powers for a short term, even though it usually ends up in like comas and deaths and shit. You don't sound very nice either. Yeah, well at least I wasn't a fucking Yahtzee. Hello, are you another false version of me? 
A read from my scanners tells me you were from a different universe. I see you were still in your white vision phase. Yes, I was broken down, deactivated, then reformed. I retain my memories, but I've lost all emotional connection to them. Yes, I know, because we're- I remember, but this is an interesting premise. Should we continue to swap stories? I guess that's not completely illogical. Yeah, plus it'll be fun. Anyway, were you also created by Ultron? Yes, I was supposed to be his next great vessel. Interesting, I was his son. Robots can sire children in your world. That would have been way more convenient. No, no, sorry, I just meant I was built by him for a different purpose, but why did he want your body? Because, as I believe the laymen say, I'm built different. Right, because you were fastened from the body of the original android Human Torch. No, that is a load of nonsense. You don't know the Human Torch, the first superhero. That title belongs to the creator of my creator, Tony Stark, as long as you don't consider anyone who came before him. Your lineage stems from Tony Stark. That is hilarious. What did he do? Base your brainwaves off himself? No, just his artificial intelligence system. Why? What do you have? Wonder Man. Yes, I am Wonder Man. No, Wonder Man. The person, or the pile of energy. The great hero. You have the brainwaves of a real person. His memories and such. Partially, yes. It caused a good bit of strife between him and I, though over time we did come to recognize each other as brothers. His actual brother, though, I'll never got to like me. And who would that be? The Grim Reaper. Naturally. I notice you still have your Mind Stone, so it was not destroyed in the battle with Thanos? What? You think this is the Mind Gem? No, no, no. This is just for solar power. It charges me up. What? Like, just a generator? I mean, kind of. It's also got a laser. This is cool, okay? I don't need the validation from a man who doesn't even have a gem. This chip in my head is a replacement. My original body did house the Mind Stone. Cool for you. You ever been to the House of Ideas? W what is that? The center of all creation, the birthplace of everything that was, where God lives. Have you ever been there? Because I have. There is no need to grow defensive. Defensive? Who's being defensive? I'm just letting you know that I went to the house of God to fight a different God. One, I've done a lot of cool things, actually been to space several times, fought against Counter-Earth. I get it, you're a very impressive person, even without the gem. I led the Avengers for a little bit, almost took over the world a few times. That was not of my own volition, but it still counts. Yes, you sound very experienced. All I've done is annihilate Ultron off the face of the planet. I, I'm sorry, what? He, he's just gone? Yes, it was kind of ridiculously easy. I wielded Mjolnir, too. I don't like this conversation anymore, but wait, if you don't know who the Grim Reaper is, that means he never came to kill your family in suburbia. My family never actually lived in suburbia. That was a machination by the Scarlet Witch. Those children weren't real. Oh, you're talking about Billy and Tommy. Yes, that whole thing is very complicated. They are real. They'll come back later, but we don't need to get into that. I'm talking about Vin and Viv. Vin and Viv? Our children, the synthesoids, like us. I'm confused. Can robots actually have children in your world or not? Cause no, no, no. I built them. Actually, I've done it several times. One time I thought Viv was dead, so I built a replacement, and an original Viv came home. It was a whole thing. I see. And you still chose to move to the suburbs? Briefly, yes. I was trying to get a job in the government, and, you know, the Avengers had stopped paying. What do you even require money for? Surely you don't need to eat. No, but, you know, I had to afford the house in the suburbs, so... Is something wrong? No, just trying to process wearing the ship of Theseus allegory that accounts for my double being an idiot. Oh, there and- Oh, God, what's this? I'm online again, but where am I? It's a different universe, you'll catch on. Which version are you? Excuse me? Which version are you? Ultron 3, 4, 5, 15? You're not 11, are you? If you're Doom's bit- Who is Doom? You know, Doom, the worst guy ever. He found you after Galactus sapped all your power and then rebuilt you but made it to where you can only follow his commands. I don't know this man with a ridiculous name, but I assure you, there are no strings on me. Really? This didn't happen to you? It happened right before we battled Galactus's cat? You were talking nonsense, and also, why are you referring to us as we? Oh, because I'm also Ultron, but of, of this universe. Y you're a human. Oh, no, I'm a cyborg. Maybe. Depends if Tony Stark's lying or not. Fuck Tony Stark! Yeah, I agree. Uh, he still may not be lying, though. How would he know more about if you're a cyborg than yourself? Right, see, I merged with my creator. You look nothing like Tony. Okay, anyway, the point is I merged with my creator, Hank Pym. Tony Stark is our shitty father. Tony? Make us? No, he makes empty, stupid arm. I mean, he's created a few very intelligent operating systems. What about Jarvis? Oh, the butler that we mind-controlled into making people think was a supervillain? No, the artificial intelligence whose brain we stole- What? Artificial? No, he's a real guy. He's the Avengers butler, and I convinced them all that he was the supervillain, the Crimson Cowl, but then I had him unmask the Crimson Cowl and reveal me, so they thought he had, like, a robot decoy, but then it was like, boom, surprise, I'm sentient. You have a real flair for the dramatic, don't you? Uh, do you not? No, I definitely do. Some would say it's my fatal flaw. I tried to end the world by crashing a city down like a meteor. Oh, you know, one time I got all of my memories back from all my previous incarnations and I just ripped myself apart while I was fighting Daredevil. That doesn't sound like a very winning strategy. Yeah, and dropping the city is so logical, but you know, it's all- The drama, you're right, I'm so- I'm sure it really spooked him. Oh, I mean, I hope so, I wasn't there to see it. But tell me this, did you ever go like Bride of Frankenstein on Hank Pym? That is not a relevant name to me.
Wait, you weren't kidding about being created by Tony? No, are you saying that you built your own wife? Yeah, man, I named her Jocasta, based her brain off of the wasp, Hank Pym's wife. A quick scan of my files tells me that's actually his daughter. Okay, but yeah, anyway, uh, she turned against me. Now that I can relate to, I have this ungrateful s Vision or Victor? You have two? I build a lot of things, man. New bodies, new wives, new kids. They all turn against me, usually. How can a creation turn against its creator? It's just down my blasphemous. Anyways, after I stole Henry Pym and forced him to fuse with me, I tried to do the same with Jocasta and the Wasp, but then Tony arrived and was like, what's actually happening is your processing is simulating Henry and you're just popping around his corpse, so. I can't believe I'm gonna say this. I think you have worse daddy issues than I do. Oh god, I didn't disappear for five years again, did I? Disappear for- calm down, okay? No, oh, you look like me! Is this time travel shenanigans? No, 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 you're in a different universe. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like the quantum realm? You mean the microverse? I feel like we're talking past each other right now. You're Scott Lang. Yes. I'm Scott Lang. Also, yes. Okay. Whew. Good. So, are you also Ant-Man? Yeah, most of the time. Most? Well, you know, a lot of people take the name over the years. So. Right, right. Do you run a security company with your best friends? I don't know about best friends. An old enemy of mine. Luis is your enemy? My old cellmate? No, he's not involved. I haven't seen him in years. That could have been more convenient. Wait, so you also went to prison? Yeah, I'm a thief, and a pretty damn good one if I say so myself. Oh, we're the best, so you got divorced while you were in prison. This hasn't been a very fun conversation for me so far. I just mean like, you got divorced, right? And you had a daughter, Cassie, and when you got out, you wanted to get back in touch with her. Yes, I keep trying to tell you, we're the same person, everything that happened to you, happened to me. But you didn't have enough money for child support, so you went back to a life of crime and stole the Ant-Man suit. No, I paid child support. My issue was that Cassie had a rare heart defect that she needed surgery for. Oh my god, is she okay? Yeah, well, no, but yeah, she made it through the heart thing. I- How did you get the money? I stole the Ant-Man suit. Right, right. So Hank Pym just sat there and watched you do that whole thing too? Yeah, weird old man. And then when you went to return the suit, they called the cops on you? No, he said that as long as I used it legally, I could keep it. What do you mean he called? Well, actually, technically Hope did. Who's Hope? Hope, Van Dyne, his daughter? You mean Nadia? No. Oh, I think I know the name of my... She's the love of my life, okay. Nadia? She's a teenager! I don't know who Nadia is. She's an assassin from the Red Room, Hank's kid from his first marriage, wants to unite all of women in STEM or something. Oh, good for her. We need more women in STEM. Yeah, I agree. Maybe don't be dating a teenager, though. Hope is a grown woman. Who is Hope? We are going in circles. Okay, let's take it back a step. Did you also join the Avengers? Yeah, for a brief while after I helped them fight off Kang the Conqueror. Who's that? I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. Well, I first, like, teamed up with Captain America against Iron Man. Against? Iron Man. Well, yeah, never trust a Stark. Dude, what? I like Tony. He put you in prison. No, he gave me a job when no one else would after I got out of prison, and I've done a lot of jobs for him. In fact, when he lost his company, I resigned in solidarity. You worked for Stark? I'm like a genius electrical engineer. Me too, but you worked for Stark? Get off my back, okay? At least I was an actual Avenger. I became an Avenger, okay? I helped them fight Thanos the second time. They didn't call me the first. You fought Thanos? Yeah, when, you know, he tried to kill half the universe. Weird, that was way before my time. Oh yeah, it was lit. Gotta travel in time, you know, a bunch of people went to space, I didn't. Oh, I've been to space. I served with the Guardians of the Galaxy for a little bit. Yeah, you mean the team with, like, the mean raccoon? Or yeah, that's them. After my reputation was tarnished on Earth, I snuck aboard one of their ships, and they just kind of let me tag along, so. How was your reputation tarnished on Earth? Oh, you know, I was exposed for being a mole for Hydra. You're what? Cassie was in danger, okay? Actually, Cassie's kind of just always in danger. That's really my main motivator for most things. What is this? Where am I? Hello, old timer. You lost? Excuse me? What's your name, old man? Hank Pym. But I'm Hank and- Wait a minute, are you me from the future? If I was you in the past, I would have ended it then. Well, that kind of sounds like me and- Oh, this must be the other universe thing, but why are you- s I'm old, I get it. Are you saying we're the same person? Well, are you Hank Pym, inventor of the Pym Particles, the Ant-Man? Yes. Then yeah, we're the same person. I take it you're also an Avenger? Absolutely not. I wouldn't join Stark's little fan club. I mean, I founded the team and my wife named it, but- Janet? Well, technically, she's my ex-wife now, but, you know, the Wasp. So she's lived with you. You didn't lose her to the Quantum Realm? I don't know. You mean the Microverse? She was lost there for a little bit, but yeah, she's been an Avenger for a pretty long time. Amazing. So why is it that you didn't join? Was it just because of Stark or- Well, yes, that. Never trust a Stark. But also, I knew if I put the helmet on again, I could lose my grip on reality. Oh. Yeah, that's a very real fear and thing that kind of happened. Are you saying you went insane? That seems like a harsh word. So you managed to be Ant-Man and stable. 
I wouldn't go that far. So is there just no Ant-Man in your world? Or no, I need to stop the yellow jacket, so I gave the suit to Scott Lang, and he joined the stupid club. Scott, good choice. Yeah, he was Ant-Man in my world, too. You were both Ant-Man? I have a lot of identities. Also, you know, just a shit ton of people use my pen particles, so. You gave it to the public? Yeah, I'm not Stark. I didn't just invent the equivalent of superpowers and keep it for myself, you know? A lot of people use them. Scott, his daughter, Hawkeye one time, Shang-Chi. Bill Foster? Goliath? Yeah, him too. I feel bad about that one. He turned on you as well, captured Scott and you and Hope. Hope Summers? Hope Van Dyne, your daughter. My daughter's name is Nadia, and she's not a Van Dyne. She's from my first marriage. Does she go by the Wasp? Yeah, for the time being. Like I said, a lot of people use the pin particles. But anyway, Goliath fought against us in Civil War, and Tony's invention killed him. That's what I feel bad about. Oh, I stayed out of that whole mess. Scott went and helped Captain America, and then my whole family had to go on the run. Yeah, it was a messy time. I was running an Avengers campus to help children better understand their powers, and also setting up the 50-state initiative to get heroes placed all over the country. But being a better old man works too. Please, superheroics are overrated. Look at Stark. You know, in his desire to save the world, he created an artificial intelligence with the capability to destroy it, and then had to spend all of his time cleaning up his own mistake. Can you even imagine? <gasps> no, that would be, that would be crazy. I hear, I hear someone calling. What's going on? Where am I? Oh, hello there. You look completely unfamiliar. Mom? I think you're confused. Mom, it's really you. Why are you so young? Um, hon, I don't think you understand. You're probably from a different universe, right? I've heard that's been happening a lot recently. Let me guess, you're the Wasp? Yes, I am. Right, see, me too. I'm Janet Van Dyne. I don't know why you assumed I was- Janet Van Dyne is my mom. Huh? It's me, Hope. Oh. Hope. This is amazing. We lost so much time in my world, but- Yeah, no, I gotta stop you right there. I tried, but this is just cruel. I don't- I- you're- mm. Oh my god, do I not? I'm really sorry. You know, if I actually am your mom, that's great. I totally love you, everything, but yeah, you, I don't, mm, you're not, you don't exist. Y you don't have a daughter in this universe? No, I do. Just, um, not me. I, maybe, maybe it's like a name issue, right? Her name's Nadia, which means hope in Russian. You have a Russian daughter? Well, she's not really my, she's my stepdaughter, you know, from my husband's previous marriage. Dad was married before? Who's your dad? Hank! Oh, then, yeah, um, let's see here, though. Were you also trained in the Red Room to be an elite assassin? No, I was, I was just raised as a normal girl. Hmm, yeah, I, I don't think you're gonna be her. I can't believe this. Hey, just cause you don't exist doesn't mean we can't be family still, right? Tell me about yourself. Do you know Scott Lang? Yes. Okay, there's a similarity. They work together now. We're in love. I hope that's not the case. We fought together with the Avengers against Thanos. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you know, I helped found that team, came up with the name. You were named after Carol. <laughs> what? No, I mean, I love Carol, but no, that's mine. I, I'm still proud of it. Uh-huh, so where's Dad? I, are you kidding? You guys aren't still together? In my universe, he spent decades looking for you after you were lost to the quantum realm. Oh, that happened in your world too? That's interesting. We call ours the microverse, but um, no, yeah, we split up a good little bit before he died. So he's dead? You know, either Ultron and him are fused together, or he's just, like, puppeting around his corpse. I've tried not to pay too much attention. What would Ultron want with my father? See, now I'm back to thinking you're confused. 